and welcome to another knife review. This knife review is purposed to give you a heads up on a special mass drop offering of a Farron Forge knife called the Crux. The Farron Forge Crux is marketed by mass drop, designed by Farron Forge, and manufactured by Wee Knives in China. Farron Forge is located in San Diego, California, and is the brainchild of the Williamson brothers. The drop will be available for sign-up on June 15th at 6 a.m. for $125. I want to point out that currently, the least expensive Ferrum Forge knife goes for just under $600, and you're going to be able to get a Ferrum Forge designed knife for $125, manufactured by a high-quality knife company in China, the Wee Knife Company. The knives will be mailed out December of 2017. It is said that the poor pay with their time, and this is no exception. If you order the knife, which will be open in about six days, you'll have to wait six months to actually receive your knife. But for the discount that this knife is offered for, it's going to be worth everyone's money to be involved. The first 500 people who join the drop will get a numbered knife. As of today, which is June 6 of 17, six days before the actual drop, Around 2,000 people have signed up the interest list, so if you want a numbered knife, you better uh, be the first one at 6 a.m. to put your name on there on June 15th. Well, I have before you four knives. What do all these knives have in common? We have the Medford 187 Flipper, the Riot Wave, the Reich 1508, and the Van Wyck Warncliffe. The thing that they all have in common is that they're the exact same size as the Ferrum Forge cruise knife. And I'll go over those specifications now. The blade length of the cruise is 3.4 inches. A common knife that has a 3.4 inch blade is the Benchmade 940. The handle is a little bit longer, as you can tell. I'll put them next to the handle. Makes the knife a little bit longer than the others here. But the blade length on the 940 is exactly 3.4 inches. So this is what you're looking at if you wanted to make a order of the Firm Forge Crux. The handle length is 4.2 inches, giving a total knife length of 7.6 inches. The weight will be 3.4 ounces. The blade on the crux will be a drop point blade made of S35 VN steel and it will have a satin finish. It has a finger choil. I'm showing here before you the Intac made by Ferrum Forge and this uh, blade has a finger choil also however it's very small. The finger choil coming out on the crux will be much larger and you'll be able to get your finger into it better. The blade on the Intac will be similar in that it has chamfering but no jimping on the posterior spine and it's in pretty much identical drop point form just like the Crux. The method of deployment will be by flipper. One of my criticisms of the Intac was the configuration of the flipper. It slants away from you and has no jimping. Therefore, it's a little bit difficult to flip it. This is definitely something that you wouldn't want to own if you lived in a Vaseline factory. And as you notice, you have this concave finger hole here, and then it goes convex whenever it goes to the flipper. Uh, and I just want to point out that the Crux has a much better flipper configuration than the Intac. Whenever you see its flipper, it remains concave all the way in the finger choil extending into the flipper tab. What that means is that you're going to get a better purchase on it whenever it's in its close position to open it. Also, they added on the flipper tab jimping so that you can get a good purchase and flip it open easily. This is a much better design on the Crux than it is on the Intec in my opinion. The handle on the Crux is made of 6AL4V titanium. It has a backspacer also that is titanium. The lanyard hole is confined to the backspacer with the handle being cut away in this area, much like the Ferrum Forge Falcon was, which was mass dropped in April 17. It, like the Crux, has a very long waiting time for its release, but hey, at these prices, you can't beat that. The pivot of the crutch will be run on caged bearings. 
The lock will be a frame lock and it has a lock bar insert but no hoback roller detent. I want to show you the beauty and the genius of the Williamson Brothers of Fair and Forge. Look at this lock bar insert. It is beautiful. It is completely smooth. It is so smooth that you can't get a fingernail in there. It looks actually like it's painted on there. And it is internally screwed. You just see the uh, ends of the screws coming out here, but the heads of the screws are inside to affix it. Very aesthetically pleasing. And one of the best things of all, it has the hoback roller detent here. The hoback roller detent has this screw. If you want to strengthen the detent, you can turn it one way. If you want to loosen or lighten the detent, you can flip it another way, which makes this knife very usable because even though it's difficult to flip, you can lighten the detent so that uh, your finger won't slip off the uh, flipper tab. The crux does not have the roller detent. The other thing about the roller detent is it has, instead of having a ball that just drags across the blade whenever the blade is there, it actually has a ball bearing that's a roller. It rolls across the blade. The crux will not have the hoback roller detent. The pocket clip on the crux is a 3D mill titanium clip, right or left carry, tip up only. The ergonomics of the knife look good. It has a place for your left uh, for your front finger and then a place for the rest of your fingers and a handle length of 4.2. I think even the largest hand can get their hand on that. The action, uh, it will have a ceramic detent ball as I've mentioned rather than the hoback roller detent. But who really knows about the action until we get it into our hands? I suspect it will be a good flipper action because it has a good flipper tab geometry. Notice how the tab is neutral to forward to the pivot the tab is tall and it has good jimping and it's more upright than the Intac, almost at 90 degrees, so I think that your hand, finger will get a better purchase on the flipper tab for flipping it. What are my impressions about this knife? I think it is a very well designed knife, but uh, there are disadvantages. First of all, the wait time. Six months is a long time to wait for a custom knife, but for a production knife it's a very long time. The poor pay with your time. Each of you as individuals will have to decide if you're willing to put up with a six month wait and put down $125 to wait on the Crux knife. I may be, I'm still thinking about it. And you need to realize that it's, it's uh, not got a lot of things that normal Ferrum Forge knives has. It doesn't have the roller detent from Hoback, but hey, for $125 you can't have everything. And the lock bar insert is not that beautifully well done Ferrum Forge smooth lock bar insert. It is just uh, a Wii insert and you can probably get your fingernail under that. But you know what? It's still going to prevent lock stick. I think it's adequate. It's just not the high level quality that the custom um, lock bar inserts that Ferrum Forge makes are. Another thing is that there's no attempt at interior milling to lighten the knife, but most Ferrum Forge's knives don't have interior milling. They aren't as concerned about the lightness of the knife. And a 3.4 inch blade at 4.3 ounces is a little bit heavy. But what do I like about the knife? First of all, I like the price. Every man can't buy a $600 entry level knife of Ferrum Forge, but you know what? You can get a Ferrum Forge design for $125, so I think it's a really good value, even though it has a little bit lower fit and finish. And I also like that Wee Knives manufactures it. The Chinese in general, and Wee Knives in particular, are competing with U.S. knife makers, not only on price, but also on quality. And as Chinese knife makers go, or any production level knife company goes, Wee Knives really has their act together and they put out a good product. So. If you would like to own a full titanium Ferrum Forge design knife manufactured by a very high quality Chinese company and you don't mind it being a little large or heavy or if you like it being large and heavy and if $125 is a good price point for you and you don't mind the fit and finish being a little less than Ferrum Forge is but at the level of Wee Knives then this Ferrum Forge Crux may be the knife for you. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next knife review.